Hello everyone, Blackhawks Vision, and today okay. we are at Santa's Village Azusman Park. And I'm Rudin. Nope, you didn't get in the video. Nice try. Okay. Anyways, we're here for the first time since October of 2017. Is that right? Um. And and Tim, you're here for the first time in like forever. In probably 20 some odd years. 20 years? How old are you? Probably 40. 40 years. 40 years? <laughs> a lot has changed. I've seen photos of the old Santa's Village and. Uh oh. Not, not as if you see a group except of. Except for the buildings. The oh buildings no. I think there's field trips going on. If you, see a, if you see a group of kids with the same shirt on, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> Here's the entrance to the park. And we're gonna go ahead and head on in oh, here. Looks like extreme elevation is not gonna be available today. That's that's a bummer. We're good to go. Let's head on in. Oh, I never saw these Christmas decorations here. There's the sea dragon. All right, we're on the sea dragon. Gotta put this away now. Just got off sea dragon, and that ride it's fun. It's one of my favorites in Santa's Village, actually. However, I didn't get as much air as I as I wanted because we didn't we got the second the back, not the back. Yeah, I know. But it's a fun ride. So around this end they got the Kringles Convoy, I believe it's called. Big E No, that's that's the balloon race. It's very e similar to Big Easy Balloons. It's very similar to Big Easy Balloons at Six Flags Great America. They have a little pond right here with koi fish. What? Oh there's the the Evergreen Theater. Gingerbread, ice cream. Yep, there's koi all in that pond. What do they feed in their I have no clue. We're watching the Kringles Convoy. Now they used to have the dragon coaster. Now they used to have the dragon coaster right there. Until 2017. They don't have that anymore. That's really bad. Apparently the next ride is going to be this Tilt-A-Whirl here. Alright, two of us in each thing. They're testing the drop tower over there. Here you go, we're going to watch the drop tower. Once it gets to the top, it's going to drop you straight down. We're gonna watch the drop tower. There it goes. It's getting close to the very tippy top. Three, and two, two, one. Goodbye. Yep. You can see the balloon ride working over there. And they have a few kitty rides right here. I think they have the Roto Whip over there. There's the carousel over there. And then there's uh, the mini pirate ship. I believe it's called Mighty Mate. All right, so we're gonna get on this now. From what I've noticed, it's not a wild mouse. It's not. Anyways, yep, there it goes. Hold on. So you can see there, there's the Trinado ride. You can see Super Cyclone and Extreme Elevation. So a few thrill rides, and we got the Tilt a Whirl right here. So Santa's Village has a new splash pad coming. It's called Santa Springs, and it's still under construction. Reminds me of the crew at West Coast Racers. This is Trinado. Yep, Trinado is like triple play at Six Flags Great America. Look at that. There is a trim break on the first drop of the Wacky Worm. Now remember, if you put a trim on the drop, you're lame. That is Super Cyclone, and that is Wacky Worm, and this is Ding Do Dingham Dodge and Bumper Cars. Oh.
All right, I think I won that for most bumps of everybody else. I think I bumped everyone else the most. I think I won. Come on, let's go, let's go. Next ride is gonna be the roller coaster Super Cyclone! And I rode it twice, once in the second row and then again in the front row. And I was literally, sure, sure. And I was literally the only person on the freaking train. When I rode in the front row, I was the only person on the train. And I think the next ride is gonna be this thing. Holy crap, extreme elevation is so freaking intense. I'm shaking a little bit after that. All right, I guess we're doing Judd's Country Cruisers next. And at least I'm actually a good driver. I'm like, this boy, you're not a good driver. Shut up. All right, let's see which, I think I'm gonna get the blue one. I think I'm getting the blue one. Oh, okay. Hold on. There's a bench over there. What the heck, Sam? Like, why is there a bench? So yeah, this was fun. This was fun to just drive your own car. You saw Trinado's rolling right now. I think we're going on that next. There's a better look at the splash pad. Santa Springs. Well, the drop tower just dropped and I missed it. Yeah, they used to keep us on for like five minutes. That was 30 seconds. Yeah, that was like... Yeah, you're right. They used to keep us on for much longer. It is fun. It's a fun ride. There's okay, a. What's next? All right. There are no go karts. So here's extreme elevation. It doesn't look like it's too bad. It doesn't look like it's too bad. There's a Kona ice stand over there. You guys can see. You guys can see that. The line doesn't look too bad. Ha. The line doesn't look too bad. There is no line. Perfect day to go, right? Yep, Fridays. Here's Mega Velocity. I'm gonna get on this one next. And it looks like the whole thing is empty. And then there's Super Cyclone. No single riders. No single riders. All right then. All right, so we're gonna try Super Cyclone again. We're gonna try the back row this time because I still got a ride in the back row. Here comes our train. Holy crap, back row on Super Cyclone is insane. So we're gonna watch the train. All right. It is a crazy ride in the back. Because on the first drop, you come out of your seat. Like, I'm dead serious. You come out of your seat on that first drop. What are we trying to get on that? Front. So, yeah. I rode this twice in a row in the back. The back row on Super Cyclone is insane. Over the drop, you got pretty good air time.
Yep. And unfortunately, there is a trim. Here's a good look at Santa Springs. The Wacky Worm, eh, it's okay. It's a kiddie coaster, what do you expect? And there's just a pond over here. I feel like Santa's Village could make use of this. All right, let's go. So here's a ride called Miner's Run that's really just for the little kids. And then there's Trinado, Wacky Worm, Super Cyclone, Extreme Elevation, and we're gonna get some Kona Ice. Kona Ice, Ice Baby. <laughs> Ice. That's the bad part. It just stops. I'm gonna have to put this down. We're heading to the snowball ride. Don't they have a slide or something here too over there? Isn't that where? That's where the dragon coaster used to be. They spelled shop wrong. That's so dumb. They spelled shop wrong. And there's the balloon ride over there. You can see it. This is the panoramic view. I think that used to be the ice arena. That's where all the games are. You sure the turtles went over there? And then the snowball ride's over there. I'm going on the snowball ride. Established 1962. This is a classic. That's where the ice arena used to be. This ride is a classic. There's the disc we spent. That ride's a classic. Always fun to ride the snowball ride when you're at Santa's Village. You got the snowball ride, and you got the sea dragon. Yeah, okay. We're done with Santa's Village. Oh. Uh, we're going into the gift shop. Let's see what they got here. Hey! Look at all the merch they have. All right, we're done. All right, we are done at Santa's Village for the day. Overall, it was a, I think it's a great place to spend a couple hours at, to be honest. All the rides here are good. All the major rides. If you would have stayed longer, I think you guys would have started, well, you would have got bored and... Likely. Hot. Likely. Anyways. I broke the top off. 
That's what he should do too. Yeah, I broke the Break top, the off, top of off of hold it. Hold on. Because it hit. Do you want me to hold your phone? Hold on. So, we are done for now at Santa's Village. I don't know when I'm going to be coming back here. I got four rides on Super Cyclone. And I got one ride on everything else. I wanted to get as many rides on Super Cyclone as I could because I didn't know when the next time I would come back here. I didn't know when I would. I didn't know when I would come back here. So yeah. yeah Good day overall. Thank you guys for watching this vlog, and I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. It probably would have still went anyway. Yeah, but I, it costs like twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars a piece. Twenty-seven dollars a piece. There goes the sea dragon in the back. Extreme elevation is going up apparently. Hello, Gabe. And I love how Santa's Village is located right next to the urban part. So you got the old abandoned Walmart over there, the Wendy's there. We only spent $110 on tickets. You were able to do that math? Yeah, it's just totally yeah, And then the over there is Paintball Explosion, and the Extreme Elevation, and then there's the Laundry King yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, might, I gotta cut that out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching for real this time. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon.